Hello everyone, Helen here and welcome to my channel. Today I will be making 10 cards using Doodlebug's Pumpkin Spice 6x6 paper pad. And here are the pattern papers that comes with the paper pad. They are all so cute and very fall. I am so ready for fall crafting. I love crafting Halloween, Christmas, and fall cards. I also brought in two ephemera packs. These are the Chit Chat and Odds and Ends. The chit chat comes with 115 pieces and the odds and ends comes with 164. I also brought in my tailored expressions mini strips and this one's called Harvest and I got the coordinating die. I also brought in three Lawn Fawn die sets which are the scallop circle stackables, scallop rectangle stackables, and the stitched rectangles. So I'm showing you here that the scallop rectangle that I chose it's four and a quarter by five and a half so then I had to trim down my card base about I want to say le a little over a quarter inch on both sides because if I put it on top of my card base which would be normally four and a quarter by five and a half I would see a small white border and I didn't really care for that look I want I didn't want like a super small border but at the same time I wanted to keep my card sizes a2 so that's why I trimmed it down and I really love seeing the scallop border just by itself I also brought in some Dollar Tree foam strips that my mom got me like she went to the dollar store because sometimes you know I would talk to her and be like mom did you know that the dollar store has like uh like foam strips that I see a lot of crafters use and I just always never I always forget when I go there to look at the crafting section but my mom you know sometimes she goes there and so she bought me like a whole bunch of Dollar Tree stickers she bought me embellishments and a whole bunch of foam tape so I have so much um, foam tape and I have to say I really really love the quality of it it's just the same quality as the foam tape I buy on Amazon so you'll see me throughout this video using the foam tape that my mom got me so mom if you're watching thank you so much <laughs> so now we're on to the second card I also brought in I forgot to mention that I brought in two colored card stocks from Stampin Up which are pool party and soft suede I also brought in a Nouveau Crystal Drops called Ripen Pumpkin. I'll be using that on a couple of my cards. And I also stamped the Tailored Expression Strips with Soft Suede Ink Pad from Stampin' Up. Um, so I really like how this blue paper cardstock complements this paper pad. It's so cute. And this one says, Happy Birthday, Got Stretchy Pants. And I just complimented the bear with two cinnamon rolls on either side. And I thought that the uh, sentiment, Got Stretchy Pants, is fitting for that card. So now, on to our third card. This one's going to be a scene card. And pretty much all of my cards on this video is like no... like. It's pretty self-explanatory as far as the cutting because all I did was just use my dies this time. Um, I wanted to incorporate dies because it's been a while since I used some of my dies. And so I just went through my stuff and I thought that these three dies complemented each other because of the scallop. I also like the scallop look with Doodlebug um, papers because I think it gives it a whimsy look as well as the cuteness factor of the scallops so this one's going to be like the squirrel with the acorns and um there's no measuring involved in this you guys we are just scene building and the ephemeras are big so it makes scene building really easy um now if you're using their um mini icon stickers now i can't remember whether i bought the icon stickers and the mini icons usually when they come out with a collection i'll buy it 
but for some reason I didn't see it in the sleeve where I put my collection in so I'm honestly not sure if I bought it or not pretty sure I probably bought it and when I cleaned I put it somewhere else and I don't know where it is and then watch I'm gonna find it when my craft room's a mess <laughs> so for this card if you saw the first two videos you saw that I um, cut two of these scallop circles um, from those co colored cardstock and so now I'm finally putting it to use uh, I brought in the plaid orange paper just to kind of give the card a little separation because it is a busy background so I kind of wanted to give it separation and to also um, make the title more uh, prominent so I think that that orange really broke down the pattern paper and then I'm gonna put a heart and then I did pop up one of the coffee cups and then I brought in one of the strips it says give thanks and that finishes up that card on to the fifth card so have you guys started on any of your fall or Halloween card making I am very much enjoying crafting this month I think it's because the fall season is coming and it just makes me more motivated I don't know what it is I guess it's the fall and winter season that just makes me feel warm and cozy that I just love crafting and I love the smell of fall and then I put in like you know the apple scented plugins and then you light the candle it just just makes me feel so warm and cozy that maybe that's why I've been crafting a lot this time and so okay I'm getting off subject <laughs> let's get back to the cards I picked these three sunflowers and then I paired it with the flower uh, pattern paper I brought in a fence and I popped the fence up and then I put more foam tape in between the fences and then I chose the sentiment you've grown and I think it's so cute paired with those sunflowers um, I did bring in the Nouveau drops and I kind I think I kind of overdid it with the Nouveau drops because I was like okay I'm gonna put one here 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 and then I'm like oh my gosh it's all over the place um, I need to stop sometimes when you get Nouveau drops like I just don't know when to stop I have a tip about Nouveau drops so when you put Nouveau drops on your cards um, you don't need to tap it because it'll just flatten by itself as it dries so when you notice it is raised it will flatten a little bit to resemble an enamel dot so yeah you don't I well I don't at least some people do but you don't really need to tap it so keep that in mind and then now we're moving on to card seven I love this card I love the corn I love the little porcupine and he's like pushing the little wagon and it just reminds me of like you know corn mazes in the fall I'm really looking forward to pumpkin picking this year with the kids and taking pictures I love the smell of fall air I love just the colors it's so I'm so excited you guys <laughs> I actually bought this collection last year but I didn't get a chance to craft with it but this year I'm getting a little bit more organized with what I what videos I will make for you guys this fall because I have a lot of paper collections that I bought last year that I didn't get a chance to craft with so stay tuned for that I'm really excited and so I picked the sentiment harvest blessings and then I decorated that with two hearts and that finishes up card six on to card seven I picked the pumpkin uh, pumpkin pie uh, the slices of pumpkin pie pattern paper and I paired that with the brown scallop I think they complement each other well and then I I made a banner out of this one paper I also I brought that in because again if you have like a very busy pattern it helps to have kind of like a muted or solid colored pattern paper or cardstock to break that down so that your focal point will stand out more and I really like this look with the banner and then the cir scallop circle and I picked two jams and then this pumpkin pie right on top and then I brought in my um, 
sentiment strips it says bountiful blessings to you and yours and that's it that finishes up card seven i really love these sentiment strips um tailored expressions has a lot of sentiment strips for different occasions and i bought it last year during black friday when she had 30 percent off and i don't have all of them i i bought maybe five of them but this year i hope that she'll have a really good sale for black friday because i want to get them all i really love incorporating these sentiment strips with um when i do 10 cards because i just think like it sends a, a clear message of what you're trying to convey with like instead of just saying happy birthday like for example then you can have a sentiment strip right underneath it to kind of go with it if that makes any sense and so that's why i like incorporating these strips in my card making because it just gives it that an extra touch of um i guess an extra touch of message <laughs> okay so this one right here is a landscape card i um incorporated the the signs with the pumpkin patch apple picking and hay rides and then i put the corn wagon a hay and a porcupine with two hearts and that's it like it's so simple to create scenes with these ephemeras because they're nice and big so it covers up your front the front of your card nicely so for this one i chose a plaid pattern paper to mimic a like grass and then i chose the um, banner sentiment pick of the patch and i just got a whole bunch of pumpkins i chose an even i mean an odd number um you know the rule of odd numbers are pleasing to the eye i do agree with that um rule and so when i put embellishments or decorate my card i try to stick to that rule and you know there are times when even numbers are fine you know they look good but i don't know it's just stuck to my head that odd numbers look good but i have a friend who actually likes even numbers on her card so you know everybody's different and that's that's one of the best things about our craft is that you are free to do what you want and what pleases you and so there is no right or wrong okay so i don't want you guys to think oh you always have to have have odd numbers there is no right or wrong in our uh paper crafting you have to do what makes you happy and that's what matters so i did pop up a couple of those i mean i did pop up the one of those pumpkins and then one of the mice and then i just embellished this with falling leaves and that finishes up card nine and now we're on card ten this video went by fast didn't it um i still have half of the paper pad left because i only took out the first 12. it comes with like 24 sheets so two of each so i might make this part one of my doodlebug pumpkin spice 10 cards because i think i want to finish up the second card um just so you know i don't have to come back to it next year so yeah this will be part one so then i'll probably craft again and do another one in the next couple weeks to finish it up and have a video for you guys so this one's going to be a birthday card i chose some of these coffee drinks i chose the coffee cup in the middle i think he's so adorable and then these two teacups i'm going to pop them up and i also popped up happy birthday and i have somebody special that i want to give this one to it's their birthday this month so they're going to get this card and so i'm just going to adhere my banner strip there and then i'm going to put the coffee i mean the teacups right on top of it but placing it uh between those two drinks and the coffee cup and then this these are like uh, steam coming out like coming up the cup and I just popped that up with a little mini dimensional 
and I think that looks so cute and adorable. What do you guys think? Well, that finishes up this 10 cards, one kit video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Let me know which card was your favorite. I really love reading all of your comments. And don't forget to click on that notification bell so that anytime I post a new video, you'll be notified. I'll see you on my next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.